What's good, peeps? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. All right, so the WBC have um, provisionally suspended Dillian White's status as interim world heavyweight champion. This um, obviously comes on the back of um, adverse findings in his A sample taken by UCAD um, before the Oscar Rivas fight. Um, strange. Did they do the same thing when uh, Canelo pissed hot against uh, Golovkin? I don't remember any statement or anything after Canelo's A sample came back with adverse findings. I don't remember. I stand to be corrected, but I don't remember. Um, I just want a fair playing field for everyone. Um, if Dylan White has done wrong, I'll be the first to say, you know what? Ban him, strip him, etc., etc. Um, but again, it shows how fractured boxing is around the world. So um, UCAD say it's okay. Um, he goes to a hearing. Let's kind of fill in the gaps in what we do know. Um, there is some sort of adverse findings. It seems as though he goes to a hearing with UCAD to explain those adverse findings. Um, I think I'm right so far. UCAD say it's okay. The British Boxing Board of Control say it's okay. He fights Oscar Rivas. Now, the WBC, who are a governing body or a belt maker, say, no, something's wrong and we are suspending you. So UCAD and the British Boxing Board of Control say it's okay. WBC say, uh-uh. Strange. Um, it's very similar to the um, Billy Joe Saunders case prior to his fight with Demetrius Andrade, um, where he tested positive. Vada was like, something's wrong. UCAD were like, it's fine. <laughs> so um, Billy Joe Saunders was okay to proceed and fight in the UK. Remember he fought, I think, on the undercard. Was it Josh Warrington Frampton? Uh, when he fought as a cruiserweight, but he was okay to fight. So we've got all these different people. Some saying it's okay, some saying it's not okay. We just need a world governing body. It's very simple. Not a belt maker, not the WBC or WBO or anyone else, not the British Boxing Board of Control, not UCAD, not VADA, not USADA, no one apart from a world boxing governing body. Something goes wrong, it goes to that world boxing governing body and they have the final say. Simple. Because right now you're getting things like the WBC saying, we're suspending you. Who the fuck are the WBC apart from a belt maker? And what's going on with this B sample? How long does it take? I mean, in all my years of watching sport, I can't remember once, and I'm sure it's happened, but I can't remember once where there's any difference in the A or the B sample. I mean, it's very rare that the A sample comes back hot and the B sample comes back cold, right? And why are we even waiting for the B sample? This is all so confusing. And I hope someone can clear this up for me because again, I have absolutely no idea about this. Um, did Varda say it was okay what they found or did Varda not find it? I'm so confused. Did Varda not find it and UCAD did? Or was it a case of it wasn't on Varda's ban list? I I'm so confused. I need answers. Before we talk any further, let's read um, the statement made by the WBC as to why he's been provisionally suspended. Uh, it says, an A sample UCAD collected from Mr. Dillian White in relation with his belt against Oscar Rivas yielded an adverse finding. In light of that adverse finding and pending the outcome of WBC's own investigation um, and process, the WBC is provisionally suspending the WBC's recognition of Dillian White as WBC interim world heavyweight champion and mandatory challenger of the division. They didn't really ever want him to be in that position anyway, let's be honest. The WBC has notified Mr. White and his team of the WBC suspension and that it will afford Mr. White the opportunity to present its position to the WBC at an investigative hearing which will take place at a place and a time to be announced in the near future. Throughout its investigation and hearing, the WBC will afford Mr. White and his team the opportunity to present any available information and materials and any exculpatory evidence they might deem appropriate. Boy, this is, um, again, I said it on a video, what, four or five days ago. This is now just becoming one big mess. Um, it really is. Um, at this stage, I'm leaning more to Dillian White has fucked up rather than this is just an honest mistake. Um, 
again, I know that there's a, a legal investigation pending. Why is there a legal investigation pending, by the way? Is it because Thomas Hauser leaked this story? Why is there legal investigation pending? It should be very, very simple. Tell us what you took and is it in your B sample and why is it in your fucking body? Pretty simple. Um, don't let this legal investigation mask what's really going on. What's really going on is that Dillian White has failed his test. And for some reason, he was allowed to box. That confuses the hell out of me. And I just want to know why. So I guess until then, the rumours will persist. And Dillian White is definitely, as the WBC have clearly shown now, guilty until proven innocent. I do wonder if um, the WBO, remember Dillian White is, I think, mandatory or at least second by the WBO. I wonder if they'll suspend. I wonder if everyone across the board will suspend these rankings until the outcome of this information. Because there's no point in the WBC doing it if others aren't going to follow. Hence why I say we need a world governing body. Because, again, I mean, if the WBC do it, it doesn't stop Dylan White fighting for the WBO, WBO, IBF. So, um, very, very interesting. On a complete separate story, what's all this Dean White thing and uh, why is it coming out now? Um, for those of you that are not up to speed, there have been a number of videos and articles uh, stating that Dean White is not Dillian White's brother. Um, to be honest, a lot of people in boxing already knew this. Um, I have to be honest, I wasn't 100% sure. I thought they might be half-brothers, but now it's coming out that they're not brothers at all, which is strange. And even more strange for me is that it's coming out that his name's not even Dean White. It's something else. I can't remember what his name is. Um, what's all this about? <laughs> I have to be honest with you. I find it all very, very strange. Um, I do sometimes call people my brothers, but not like that. Like, oh, that's my brother. Like when I say Ryan's my brother, but I don't mean that he's my brother. I'm going to try and fool you that he's actually my real brother. Um, it's weird. What's more weird is that I've just watched a few Dean White interviews. Can I still call him Dean White? I've just watched a few interviews and people do actually introduce him as Dillian White's brother. And now all of a sudden, and again, I don't know what's happened, hence why I want some sort of clarification. Now all of a sudden, a lot of people are saying he's not the brother and videos are being made and all sorts. So if anyone wants to help me clarify the situation, please do. Um, for the record, I think, um, I don't know what's going on, but I think he's a very cool guy anyway. Every time he interviews, seems to be very, very cool, very up to speed. So um, yeah, this is a bit weird as to why um, it's coming out now. Very, very strange. Um, I, I, I can't put two and two together and, and think it has anything to do with this Dillian White Oscar Rivas thing, but it is a bit weird the timing of this. So please, people, if anyone knows why this is coming out, let me know. Anyway, that's it. End of video. Peace.